one step at a time. What's going on my dudes? One Step here showcasing some of the best avatar creations in Street Fighter 6. Now arguably there are a ton of amazing creations out there. These are just some of the best ones that I've seen so far that I know take a ton of time to create all the intricate details and everything. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's jump right into it. As we get into the creations, keep in mind the credit to the artist is gonna be on the screen during the showcase or down in the description for all the pieces. So the first one you're gonna see here on screen is my favorite it's Kratos and he's my favorite because first of all I love God of War I love the entire series especially the new one I have a God of War tattoo I have props behind me for Mjolnir I have the axe I just love God of War plus a lot of people say that I look like him so I think this is great so first of all it looks amazing but I know the detail that it takes to add the paint on the face the grayish tone to the skin the scar across the body all of the little details that you could put in the you know the character creation for Street Fighter is just so well done here and it just looks beautiful unfortunately the artist for Kratos didn't leave the notes on how to create him, but it still looks great. Next, we have probably one of the most complex ones to ever create, in my opinion, because of the body, and that's Genos. That's right, your boy from One Punch Man, and just look how amazing this character looks. Look at the body. I mean, the face, of course, you know, looks similar. But the way they did the body, you know, with the tattoos, the way they made it glow, just the way that it looks. Oh, I can tell you right now, that is so much intricate detail that I was blown away at the way this looks. The artist did lead the character creation code you're gonna see on screen. Feel free to pause it. Amazing work, I know. And next year we have Popeye. And at first you're like, well, yeah, anybody could do Popeye. You know, it's pretty simple. But this just, it's just too spot on. To like, a, it's just, it's just too good. It's too spot on to ignore. Like, look at this picture of Popeye in World Tour mode in the pose. It, it's just perfect. And what's great about Popeye here is you can dress him, yes, but he looks just fine in the tank top that you're given right off the get go for World Tour. I mean, to be fair, kind of same for Kratos and Genos. You know, they're shirtless and they look great. So I mean, you know, you, you don't really need the clothes. To go with the characters so far they just look awesome character recipe for popeye on screen right here feel free to pause it as well This next one is just too good. And the reason why it's too good is because if you choose the moveset from Doll Seam and World Tour, it just looks beautiful. And that is Venom. You see the character on screen right here. Wow, looks so freaking good. But again, here's the picture we have of him in game using Doll Seam's moveset. And that just looks perfect. The way you're able to stretch, go across the screen is exactly how Venom probably would play. And it just looks too good. Like I never even thought about that. The character themselves look great, but also what moves that you could put with your character to make them play the way they play. And again, Dalsim for Venom is just a perfect addition. I'm probably going to have to create this one myself. I'm not going to lie to you. Character recipe for Venom is right here on screen. Feel free to pause. And this next one is actually gonna be a pair. I found the pair and I was like, oh my gosh, somebody, I, I'd never thought it possible. And that is Perry the Platypus, you're gonna see right on screen, absolutely beautiful. And then of course the counterpart, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, just looks, it just looks too good to not share. Like imagine creating both of these characters and giving them their unique movesets. Like how would you make Perry the Platypus? Like like what moveset would you give Perry? And then what moveset would you give Dr. Doofenshmirtz? I, I don't no, but it just, it's beautiful. Unfortunately, no character recipe for those two, but let me know down below. Are you gonna try to create them? Because if you do, how, how well did you do? Like how well did your character turn out compared to these two? So far, I've had a blast myself creating Mario. I've also created Ganondorf and character recipes for those characters are in my videos. Go enjoy them right now. Let me know who your favorite character creation you've seen so far is. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.